The GRACE mission has been uh, an exploratory mission for NASA. It was launched in 2002. The, the first is a gravity experiment, which has proven itself to be a critical climate mission. We're excited by the potential that Gravis offers, not only in terms of the improved sensitivity from the accelerometers, which will result in better science measurements, but also by the fact that it allows for a small satellite configuration, which would be more cost-effective, and would allow us to create larger constellations of satellites to make better science measurements and improve applications for more scientists and water resource management. The particular project is focused on the development of accelerometers that will be used in the spacecraft that will measure the, the gravitational field of the Earth. The purpose of our technology program is to enable future missions with greater capability at lower cost. The investment in the accelerometers at this time will position us to make a future gravity mission that will answer new science questions that we can't answer today. GRATIS, or the Gravitational Reference Advanced Technology Test in Space, is a mission funded by NASA to test advanced sensors for tracking water and ice over the surface of the Earth. Our team at the University of Florida have been developing this technology over a number of years. Uh, we wrote a proposal, uh, submitted that to NASA. It was competed with maybe a dozen or so other teams that were uh, vying to test their technology in space, and we were selected in the end. An important aspect of the GRACE measurements is to be able to sense the disturbances on the spacecraft which look like gravitational measurements but are actually induced by the environment in orbit. And one of the important things that we want to do to improve GRACE sensitivity is to improve the measurements of those disturbances. So in particular, the spacecraft is shaken by drag as it's flying through the upper atmosphere. Our instrument that we're developing will make extremely precise measurements of the, of the drag as we fly uh, over the Earth. And after, in data analysis, we will be able to subtract those measurements to improve the, the gravity recovery. Right now, we are full steam ahead for building technology demonstration of our new sensor for future GRACE missions. So we've spent many years now developing hardware in the lab, computer models, and we want to go and put that all together into a spacecraft and, and test that technology so we can demonstrate 100% that it's ready for future GRACE missions. The only way to test this technology really is to fly it in orbit. So we can generate computer models, we can do measurements of some important aspects of the performance in our lab, and we will do that. We will put it in a thermal vacuum chamber, we will shake everything, we can test in the lab, but in the end, the final performance of the instrument can only be demonstrated in orbit. And that's the aim of the GRATIS mission, to demonstrate conclusively that this technology can improve future GRACE measurements. It's important to have early career people working on projects like this because they, number one, provide valuable insights that maybe people that have been working on this for a long time may not see. And secondly, it's important to train early career people with hands-on work on NASA missions so that they can be leaders in this field in the future. Working on Gratis inspires me because not only do I get to work on a mission that furthers space technology, but the data we're collecting is gonna be used by climate scientists and geodesy scientists to do real work that help us understand our planet, what might be going wrong with it and how we might be able to fix it. The Gratis project does make me feel more hopeful about the future because we can only solve problems with good data and Gratis will give us better data about one facet of the planet than we've ever had before. Using the cost of Grace missions, it is a very important. It will allow NASA to improve the constellation of the mission and potentially improve the measurement itself on um, going from monthly information to weekly information that will support a lot of applications for water, for example. Gratis is set to launch in the first half of 2027. We're working closely with our industrial partners who are developing the flight hardware. They will deliver that to the University of Florida where we will integrate it into a single payload and that will be delivered to the spacecraft provider who will then launch it into space. Gratis is going to test new inertial sensors. These are advanced accelerometers that are used to map the gravity field of the Earth. 
And these sensors are more precise than such sensors that have flown in the past. So if we're successful, then this could lead to a future Earth science missions with higher precision, with a greater ability to track Earth's water and ice.